Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the Avant Quad Skira 5 inch HD freestyle frame. In this video I'm going to assemble the frame and go over its features and specs and hopefully soon I'm going to feature it in a build and flight video. First of all, in terms of packaging, inside the bag of the frame you can find some stickers, four interchangeable carbon fiber arms, the top, bottom and middle plates, two carbon fiber side plates along with TPU parts for securing the FPV camera, all the needed standoffs and screws for assembling the frame, an Avant Quads branded battery velcro strap and an anti-skid foam sticker for better securing the battery. Now I'm going to quickly assemble the frame and then go over its features and specs. As you can see, now the frame is assembled, and at the first glance this frame definitely looks very robust and sturdy. In terms of specs, the weight of the frame is 136.5 grams, the thickness of each replaceable carbon fiber arm is 6 mm and its width is 14 mm, the thickness of the bottom, middle and top plates is 2 mm, the distance between the middle plate and the top one is 21.9 mm, and the distance between the bottom plate and the top one is 30.2 mm. The frame supports both mini and micro sized FPV cameras. The frame features interlocking arms and on the bottom plate you can find both 20x20 and 30.5x30.5mm mounting holes for mounting your stack. Finally, on the back side of the frame you'll be able to mount a DJI Air unit using 3D printed TPU parts which you can either 3D print by yourself or purchase from Avant Quads and you can also find 20x20mm mounting holes for mounting a Cadex Vista. In addition, you should note the 3D printed parts that include an Immortal T antenna mount, a DJI Air unit mount, motor protectors, and a very interesting GoPro Session 5 camera mount with an adjustable angle are available separately, so you can either purchase them directly from Avant Quads when buying the frame, and if you'd like to 3D print these parts by yourself, Avant Quads kindly provide you with all the required STL files, which you can find in the Thingiverse page, which is linked down below. So overall, as far as I can tell, the Avant Quad Skira 5 inch HD looks like a very durable frame, and even though it might be a little bit on the heavy side, considering its purpose and also the fact that it's using 6mm thick arms, it is not that heavy, and I think that it might be able to withstand some nasty crashes. Now by the way, in case you would like to purchase this frame for Avant Quads, you can use my reviewer code down below, and then this purchase is going to be recognized by Avant Quads, and in addition, you're also going to get a spare arm in the package. One more thing that Avant Quads wanted me to let you know is that in case you're interested in a custom build using this frame or using any other frame that they feature on the website, you can contact them directly and they are going to pre-build and pre-tune the quadcopter for you. So far I have a very good experience dealing with Avant Quads and I'm impressed with their build quality and also their tuning capabilities, so in case you're interested in getting a plug and play or bind and fly pre-tuned quadcopter, this is an option that you might want to check out. Anyway, that's going to be it for this quick review of the Avant Quads Kira 5 inch HD. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.